Okay, I'm going. Oh, okay, you pass past me, man. Go on, pass me. I just want to get a look at the back end of that thing. Well, it suits you. Oh, there's Ian on the VFR 1200 in front. Uh, I'm on a cross runner, so we've swapped bikes, and um, and Ian's just getting used to the riding style of the 1200 compared to the sit on bag that he's got on his. Uh, oh, he's loving that. He's loving that power. Definitely. I like the back end on it actually, and I'm, I'm growing to the exhaust pipe that's on the VFR 1200. Uh, with that shaft drive, it's just a superb ride, lots of power when you need it. Yo. Uh, what's it showing? Is it? Stick a couple of quid in it. Um, you're loving that power, aren't you? I saw you up near up then. I, I bet you didn't even change down, did you? Yeah. Eighty grips work well. Give that exhaust a rev. It's definitely a nice machine. Yeah. The, I think the real trial is between this and the CBF Thou, isn't it? Yeah. It's a nice bike. Yeah, it's a nice one. You know, this um, cross runner seems slimmer than the, uh, the VFR. Must be the fairings on it. You know, I'll be honest, this is not worth 10 grand that I'm sat on. 
if, if I'd bought, paid 10 grand for it, I'd be disappointed big time. But that is worth it. That's worth every penny. Isn't it? That's some, something else. Alright, let's take them home. How much to put in? I right, should have a couple of quid, mate, and got you back. Yeah, well, your tank will only hold about 23 quid. You get 200 miles to a tank. Does that mean you've got another 100 miles to travel before you take it back? <laughs> Yeah, I think the only other thing that I'd like to have done with that is take that down a motorway. Just okay. I think that would be a real test for you, for you as well, just to sit at 90 on a motorway. Um, I think it has to be done. You've got the fuel for it now, so. Yeah, they've definitely detuned this engine. <laughs> well, it looks good. It fits you, mate. Yeah. That silver one in the showroom. <laughs> Thing is, you can't buy that silver one in the showroom. Because I want it. <laughs> and if you do get it, I'm going to be pissed off. No, I'm not going to get one till next year, but it's a beautiful bike. There's nothing against it. Yeah, forget that. No. It's a lot more bike. It's, it's everything, uh, you know, they've really, really killed it. At first I wasn't keen on the styling, but really, really loving it now. Yeah, we'll leave it. Very easy to ride, isn't it, really? What gear are you in, though? First? No, don't go to first. You got a real talky in motor there, keep it in second there, and you wouldn't have a jerk. Don't forget, you, you could have left it in the third and still set off. 
Well, you lost me on power just then, accelerating. Yeah. No, no. Ah. <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. I remember dropping the SV off and then picking the VFR up and as I was coming down from Penrith on the motorway, I felt like I was doing like sixty. I looked down and you're doing ninety, you know. But the thing about motorbikes, especially heavier ones, is the uh, you know, the, the force with the wheels spinning, they, they get more stable as they go faster, so, yeah. They are, aren't they? And the crazy thing is, alright, it's a sports tourer, but that thing you're on there will keep with any fire blade. You know, if you've, if you've, if you've been on it a while and confident with it, power-wise, you, you're right up to it. Quite like the tank on that as well. Hmm. No, that's it, you're done. Yeah, that's just cosmetic, isn't it? You know. Yeah, and it's got a rear hugger built on as well. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, the cross runner rides fine. Nothing against it whatsoever. Mm. Oof. I've got loads of video, I'm shooting vid now. Compile it all together and uh, it'll be on my YouTube channel tonight. That's it. I mean, you've only been on it, what, 20 minutes max? You know, it, it, once you've been riding it a while, you, you get used to the engine and the gears and everything and it just all falls into place. That's a lot of power. That's a lot of horses you've got there, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you ever watch the film Bruce Almighty? Where he just sort of parted the cars in a street. <laughs> you just want to do that, don't you? Get out of my way. Yeah, there's no need. Yeah, you got loads of loads of power, loads of torque. And um, and it's the same when you when you hop on mine, 
compared to this, yeah? You'll, you'll have the same type of torque. Um, this thing doesn't have the torque that mine does, so they've really reduced it somehow. I don't know what BHP this pushes out. Is it? I think the torque curve as well is, you know, off a little bit, but... Just hold it for three seconds, it'll flash and then it'll go off. I think as a commuter bike, you know, this, this would be fine. If you're wanting something that's a sports tourer, the cross runner just doesn't fit it. That's my, my view anyway. You'll find that you won't be able to stall that like yours and drop it because of the torque. <laughs> <laughs> What's that delivery? When can you deliver it? <laughs> yeah, it's a nice machine. Oh, it is. Well, it should be. But, looking good. Ah, uh, they're just told to the uh, time and all that kind of shit. It certainly pulls away easier than a 600. Just with that torque, you know, you feel more confident when you drop the clutch that it's going to move. Yeah, like that. Remember when you jump on mine, then mine's double that. So now, now you get to look at the back end of this. <laughs> mm. I feel like I'm I'm virtually leaning backwards in the riding position on this. It's it's kind of strange. Certainly not a position that okay, it's comfy if you're commuting and you know, I don't know. It's not for me. Can't wait to get back on my old bike. <laughs> Where the hell's that ambulance going? Okay, nearly that. Ah, it's a lovely machine. Welcome. 